Are you in need of PTCGO codes? Well, look no further because PTCGO store has your back. With affordable prices, weekly sales, and instant email delivery, they'll have you open in packs with a smile large enough to overshadow your inevitable existential crisis. Huh. And for an even cheaper price, click the link below and use the code FTW at checkout. Hello there. What is up, peeps? This is Following TCG, and I welcome you back to another YouTube video. And today, we're looking at a pretty interesting concept um, that I do want to try out. And uh, do you know what? It has some potential. It's really, really, really fun to play, although it is hella risky. And this deck is designed specifically for the um, big tag team Jex decks that are out there that are dominating the format. It is just a straightforward rogue deck it is Kartana. <clears throat> now uh, just to go over it briefly what we're planning to do here we are planning to use false swipe as our main attack and take down big boy tag team gx pokemon in one full swoop how are we going to do that of course we have the Kartana. we are using it with miss magius to be able to uh, allow us to use b string and accelerate energy onto it so we can get it a turn one and also combine it with the likes of shrine of punishment and a cheeky spell tag with a little cosmog here and i'll describe why i'm using that in a second to um deal that last bit of damage that will ko any pokemon at all right so with that said, let's get into it. Right, so here we are. Hopefully, this is a tag team GX, if not a GX deck that we're playing against. If not, we're kind of a little, little bit, little bit screwed. But hopefully, it is. Um, right, so the Cosmog is specifically for those non-GX matches. And um, the reason why I've chosen the Cosmog over any other um, Pokemon that is Psychic, of course, well, we want to use the spell tag first things first, right? Um, but the reason why I chose the Cosmog is for a few reasons. It has a free retreat. Um, it's easy to knock out, which, believe it or not, actually can help us. Um, of course, works with the spell tag. And um, it doesn't have an ability. And uh, the reason why we don't want Pokemon with abilities is, of course, we're using the Greens Miss Magius um, strategy, right? Um, obviously, we have Will here as well to guarantee the tails, uh, the flip that Full Swipe does. And Lieutenant Surge and stuff to allow us to do multiple supporters at once. It, if you get it going right, it can function really, really, really well. Um, so I wanted to get it going. Now, I don't know if we're playing a GX deck yet. So I'm not actually going to get rid of anything whilst I play the Cynthia and Caitlyn. This deck can dead draw sometimes, which is the biggest flaw, I would say. Um, but it can do its job pretty well. I'm quite happy with it so far. Um, this mystery, this is one thing I've noticed when playing this deck. There's so many resources that are useful that I really am not a fan of ditching anything. We, the energy spinner seems to be the one that we're best off ditching here. So I'm, I'm fine getting rid of that with the mysterious treasure. Let's get a mischievous and let's just go straight in with that. I might actually bench the cosmic, uh, the cosmic, cosmic, the cosmog and throw the spell tag down here and, uh, keep that ready for play. So we want the cosmog to be KO, believe it or not. Once we've got... Um, a lot of damage on the board uh, that allow us to get these one hit KOs. If let's say we have a tag team with one HP and um, of course it sits on the bench, then of course a Cosmog will allow us once it being KO'd with the spell tag to KO that Pokemon in return. Um, so that's mainly the reason why I'm using a Cosmog. Free retreat, easy to KO and allows us to use the spell tag with no ability. So you, you, I, hope, I hope you understand my, my reasoning there. You can use things like Giratina, but you have to be playing a deck that isn't GX heavy, right? That that's just the uh, sorry GX heavy. Sorry, that isn't ability heavy. Um, so that's that's why I'm playing the Cosmog. A bit of a weird inclusion, but I think it can work um, in these non GX matchups as well. Because if we come up against the non GX decks and do some damage um, that we can't actually finish off. Um, when it comes to the likes of uh, not being able to utilize Shine of Punishment and stuff, because, of course, non-GX. And then the Spell Tag can also help finish them off late in the late game. So that, that's my thought process, at least. It seems like we're playing against a, uh, a Valplume GX, which is really good, actually. Um, it's a GX Pokemon, which means we can just deal with it nice and easily. But we didn't get the best turn one here, I'm afraid. However, uh, all we really need is a, another Miss Magius to allow us to activate the Beast Ring. Um, and we also need greens. So a greens would actually just sort it out right away. A greens would give us the beast ring and the mysterious treasure to get another Miss Magius out. Um, so we can get the energy into play. Obviously, unfortunately, we don't really go for the whole coin flip deal. But unless we get ourselves a will. And the Lieutenant Search can help out with that as well. So ideally off of this Poke Gear, we want a... Um, of both the Poke Gears, we want a will and we want a... Um, 
a, uh, a, a green. So that, that's what we want, ideally. Um, although, we don't seem to be coming up against any sort of crazy Pokemon right now that we want to KO directly. So, do you know what? That's, that, that's fine. Let's Poke Gear. So, we get the Will. That's good news. And if we get the greens, we're pretty much ready to go. There we go. Um, now, we don't really need the Beast Ring uh, anymore because we've got it in hand. It might be better to go for, I believe I've included a Ferromosa in this deck just to do some simple damage against these non-GX Pokemon um, and give us a fighting chance in that matchup. So I think that'd be a good idea. Let's play the Surge. Let's play the Greens. And we're going to get ourselves Mysterious Treasure. And do we have the Ferromosa? We do. So I think we're going to charge up the Ferromosa here, actually, first things first. So let's get the Netball, um, allowing us to search the stuff, which is good eat. And uh, get the Ferromosa out. That seems like the play. So this deck is very big brain. Um, it, it can be quite tough to play with. Um, so I have to really think about what I'm doing here more than anything. So we want to use the Dust Stone. The reset stamps are so good in this deck as well, helping us shut things down. We play four, a bit heavy, but you know what? You know, it, it can really help when we start falling behind, which does tend to happen quite a few times. Um, this is the deck that likes being behind anyway, so it works. Um, let's go and just get this ball rolling here. Um... So we've done that. We can play the will and go for it. But I want to hold the will in hand. Let's miss Magius now. See what we get before we go any further. Another Beast Ring. That's uh, that's dope. That means we have both our Pokemon pretty much ready to go. Which is sweet. So we're going to get the KO with this Feromosa. Sweet. If they come up with a Vileplume GX, we would have everything in hand ready to go as well. Which is, again, sick. Uh, we're not going to play the Shrine of Punishment in case they drop a Stadium down. We don't need it right now. That's more for after the attack rather than building up the Pokemon. So that's not needed. Let's go for the Feromosa. Let's Beast Ring. Um, you can see the Seeker Rare. I got so happy. I was just opening some packs I had left over. Managed to pack this bad boy. Super happy about it. It's just crazy. All right, let's do that. We don't need to false swipe here. We can just Feromosa. We do get confused, unfortunately, but not the end of the world. Um, Shrine is really valuable here. I'm not going to lie. So I think I'm going to save the Cynthia and Caitlyn. Um, I don't want to get rid of another reset stamp. I actually want to play this reset stamp right now. So I think I'm going to do that. We do have two more Shrine in the deck, to be fair. So we can be a bit greedy. And I think I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. Let's do it. Let's get rid of the shrine and let's recover the surge. Surge is really good. Um, obviously, the recovery of that allows us to play multiple supporters, which is great, depending if we get it. We don't, but that, you know, that's okay. Let's just go in with the white ray here. And another thing, another reason why I'm playing Feromosa, it's grass type. And of course, it allows you to utilize its free retreat as well. So it's very easy to maneuver, maneuver this deck and move around. It's really, really easy. So we don't need any switch cards or uh, escape boards. It's very easy to deal with retreat and stuff. So that's fine. We don't have to waste space in a deck for that. We've managed to pull the Shrine of Punishment as well, which is great. So we have everything in hand, ready for a Vileplume GX for just an instant KO, which is sweet. So let's see what they actually come up with. Well, greens, that's confusing. Doesn't Vile Plume GX have an ability? Obviously, I know it's great for setup, but after that, I don't know. Okay, here we go. We're about to see the deck do exactly what I want it to do. And uh, thankfully, I'm showing off <laughs> the list in the best way possible because one thing I was concerned about is really getting it just right where we can consistently be, uh, be able to achieve this combo. And this is the best I can achieve it so far. I'm sure there are a lot of you guys out there who can make it 10 times better. Um, which is why, of course, I don't, I never present these decks as like the finalized version. I always love it when you guys, you know, test it out, try it out for yourselves and see if you can make it any better and uh, make it function to the best of its ability and uh, to see where the deck can go from there, um, which, is, which is awesome. So obviously they're going to get their KO perfectly fine, but we're going to respond with an instant KO, nice and easy, a what, free card hand and then, a shame with no energy attached to it. Just sick. Absolutely sick. Right. Let's do it. Uh, Shrine of Punishment. Done. Uh, we're going to will. We're not going to surge right now. Although we could. We're not going to. Um, let's get manual energy there. Now, hopefully they don't dig out of this because we have a bit of a weak hand now. I'm not going to lie. So let's choose the heads. Guarantee the KO here. 230 damage plus the Shrine. Done. You're out of here. Sweet. So uh, that's really good news. And we get some prizes there. So hopefully we get something worthwhile. Netball, not really that great. And a Pokegear, good stuff. Okay, so this is doing exactly what I wanted. I'm super excited. It's 
absolutely fun. And uh, yeah, this this is what I've been kind of, I feel like missing a lot recently is these, these wacky rogue decks that just do some weird stuff that has potential to really damage these uh, meta decks. And I'm so excited about it because it's been a while since I've been able to come up with a deck like this. It's so, so fun. It is inspired quite a lot um, by the Piplup and Blastoise GX. Um, I'm not sure who showed it to me on stream. The stream that just happened, you can see there if you want to. I don't remember, so I'm sorry there. But I know it was a deck also inspired by uh, Tablemon as well, who produced that deck. So it's taken a lot of tropes from that and applying it to a different concept and uh, really trying to utilize it. So yeah, I'm really happy with where it's going right now. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully this is again a GX deck and we can uh, just absolutely wreck it. Again, another good start in hand. That is sick. If we could pull off the Miss Magius and get a Surge, that would be mad. Because we can greens, we can get it going and uh, effectively with this hand, I believe we can get a turn one. Well, turn two because we're starting. Um, attack. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Now, we could double Miss Magius here. And we can give them a pretty terrible starting hand. I like that. Okay, so we're going to have to get rid of the Poke Gear, which means we don't get the Surge play. Well, yet. Oh, don't get the wrong one. Um, I wonder what Rappi is. Obviously, it's an Ultra Beast deck. Obviously, it's using the whole Beast energy and stuff. Hopefully, it's... Uh, we're going to play the Shrine. Hopefully, it's a GX deck. Right, so let's just let's just go crazy here. Let's go for the double Miss Magius. Mad play. Super excited about it. Obviously, we can't play the Greens just yet. I wanted to get a thin hand before doing it. Maybe I should have played it first. Not sure. Anyway, let's do that. Hopefully, we get like a, a Pokemon we can get out whilst these things get killed. We do. Splendid. Great stuff. Great stuff. Um, promote the Miss Magius here. We unfortunately didn't get the reset stamp. However, we are going to be able to after this one uh, with greens. So I'm probably going to get netball. Yeah, that seems fair. We can we can actually go. Should I do it? A third Miss Magius? Is that just is that too much? <laughs> I don't know. I want to do it. Let's just go crazy. Let's just go stupid. <laughs> Go crazy. Go st okay. We're going to go for a third. And we're going to reset stamp them to three cards. Oh, man. We're just, we're, just a, we're just a lock deck now, are we? Is that what we are? Just a lock deck? <laughs> it's risky doing this because that means we have one less turn with Beast Ring. But, hey, I'm all down. I'm all down. Let's hope they don't, you know, get out of this somehow. And hope they don't get a KO in return. Because that could be really bad. <laughs> it really could. Uh, right. Let's go for the... Beast? Nah, I think we've got to play safe here, no? I think it'd be better to get a netball and probably another greens. Yeah, because I want to make sure we have a bench Pokemon, so in case we get knocked out. And we can grab Beast Ring next turn. Um, if we don't get knocked out, that is. Again, risky place. Oh, I'm an idiot! I didn't play the resets! To oh, no. Alright. I just, I just ruined my whole plan! Sean... You're a special kind of guy. Yeah, I know. I know. We just gave them all the resources they need. However, if they, hopefully, if they bricked, um, which I doubt, they can't really use their Miss Magius. So, fingers crossed. That was a bit of a misplay. I'm not going to lie. That was a serious misplay there. Maybe I should have retreated this Cartana. Man, so much misplays. It's just, it's just blowing my mind a bit. Okay, so not... A tag team that can utilize beast energy. So I doubt they're going to get a devastating attack here. I do doubt it. Uh, speaking of, if we pull a surge, we have all the resources yet again to take this thing out. We just need the surge. It's quite a hard combo to hit. Um, because we do need... The reason we need the surge is because we need the beast ring. Unfortunately, we only have one, which is quite scary. Um, we do need the beast ring to get the energy out so we can use our attack and then obviously the will to guarantee the heads we can be a bit risky and go for the coin flip but you don't want to do that man you never want to do the coin flip nana nah. no way boy no way so although i've kind of just butchered myself there i'm hoping that things go a bit better but I, again doubt they have the resources right now to really ko us so fingers crossed Fingers crossed. And if they go for the Miss Magius, they need to thin. Otherwise, they can't do it. Um, which, again, is just going to work in our favor. So, yeah, scary. But, yeah, we want to take out two tag team 
and get game. And that's really not that hard to achieve in this deck. If you can get two Cartana going, and as long as you have the right resources in hand, which is where the big brain play kind, uh, kind of comes in, um, you're set. You are absolutely set. You've got a game almost, so you have a pretty good advantage. Um, let's see. Let's see what they do. I, I'm an idiot. I checked my discard pile before I checked what they came. So many misplays. The misplay king is back. Okay, they're going for it. So can they thin? Can they really thin? I'm not so sure. Now, why? They've quit. Okay. So although I misplayed, it's cool. We've got the win. So two wins in a row. And um, thankfully coming up against some um, Tag Team Jex's deck. It, it tends to be what you come up against on the ladder anyway, just Tag Team Jex decks. Um, so it kind of works in our favor, I guess. So it's kind of taking advantage of the current meta. Um, and it's a great, great deck just to play around with on the ladder. Again, though, I want to emphasize, you will struggle against these non-GX decks. But they're just not so prevalent nowadays, if I'd be completely honest with you. And we do have text to kind of deal with it, but, you know. Alrighty. That's a weird typing there. Um, again, hoping it's, a, <laughs> hoping it's a GX deck, ideally a tag team. Being able to one-shot tag teams like this is ridiculous. It's crazy. Uh, and that's what we want to do, so. Going second... Again, bear in mind, we actually have the potential to go for a turn one KO on, on these bad boys. It's hard to achieve, but it's possible. We just have to have the right resources in the starting hand. So, fingers crossed we do. Almost, almost. Unfortunately, not. Um, we haven't got the Mysterious Treasure or the Surge. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is real bad. Okay. What would be the best way to deal with this then? It's probably the spell tag. Oh, this is such a terrible matchup for us. Okay. So now you're going to see the, the crux of the deck. It is going to pretty I'm I'm already predicting a loss. This is how pessimistic I am, people. <laughs> no, I'm not really that pessimistic, but again, this is not what we're designed to play against. So I guess you could similarly to uh Rayquaza call it a bit of a, a bit of a glass cannon. Right. This is interesting. I guess what we want to work towards is the... Do we go for... We got the recess stamp. Go for the surge for next turn. Is that the play? Hmm. Yes? I don't know yet. I'm not sold. Shrine is going to be a dead card in his deck. Bit of a shame. There it is. is that, do we only have one Miss Magius? That's a bit of a problem as well. All right, let's get this, this ball rolling a little bit. Uh, the Miss Magius is going to be quite a weak one here. We could reset stamp, but we're going to throw him to six. That's not good. Um, and the reset stamp after this, again, is not going to be that great. So, All right, let's just bench this Cosmog. Uh, this is bad, considering how low HP we are as well. So hopefully... We can get somewhere with this. I am super skeptical, though, with this matchup. Spirit Tomb is just really strong. And uh, with the likes of Weezing, I mean, boy, that's some serious stuff. Some serious stuff you've got going on. They're going to be doing 40 to us. I think they're KOing us, um, unfortunately. And, of course, they do the damage on the board as well. This is a terrible matchup. Two rogue decks that are designed to take out big tag team GXs, but they just hit the better raw numbers. Um, but we'll try. We'll try. You know what I say, man. Just got to try. Got to try. Sometimes you can kind of weasel your way through. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Let's see. Let's see how they set up and what they do. Now, they did play a Cynthia, am I correct? Now, the great thing is getting a KO on this means that we can actually reset stamp them to four. But we can't really KO this thing without any sort of... Uh, it's, it's really not looking great. All right, let's just do the reset stamp. We might have to double Cynthia and Caitlyn here, which is a strange one. But, you know, it gives us six cards and recovers two draw supporters. So let's do that. Let's get rid of the shrine and recover the surge. Right, so yeah, we're definitely going to have to go for the double Caitlyn and Cynthia. We need, we need stuff, man. We need stuff. Let's get the greens out and draw some more cards. Okay, that's somewhat good. Somewhat, he says. Um, 40 damage plus 20 
60. They have the KO on that. So we want to retreat here. We want to get... It might be a good idea to get a mischievous and just get a spell tag on it. For next turn, this seems like just a bad defeat, I'm afraid. Absolutely terrible defeat. <clears throat> oh, wait, so now they're going to KO this anyway, aren't they? What am I talking about? And they would have KO'd this. Although next time they get the KO through, through knockout, which means we can actually deal some... We can actually KO one of these spirit human response, believe it or not, which is cool. But just, ooh, a big yikes from me, man. That is not, not sweet. Cynthia, oh, man. Okay, we can at least try to shut them down, but they're just, they're just absolutely landsliding it right now, to be honest with you. Oh, man. Such a shame. Keep rolling, but... Yeah, my, uh, my hopes and dreams are slowly fading away. Just like real life. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Such a shame. But hey, well, that is the outcome of this deck. And uh, we'll see. I say we'll see how it goes, but you're seeing here. Oh, they didn't get the KO. Okay, sweet. That kind of works in our favor a little bit. A little bit, he says. Uh, we can go for another Miss Magius, but is that suicide? Probably. Um, we can uh, go for our guaranteed move here which means we're doing what we need to do just not that well <laughs> in this matchup huh it might be better to go for the no I don't see any of these cards being remotely useful except for the energy spin-up, but even then, it's really not that crazy, n crazily needed. Maybe a netball? Maybe another reset stamp. Are we going that aggressive? No, we want another greens, right? We want, yeah, we want another greens. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. There's no Miss Magius in deck anyway, so we can't use the Mischievous to do that. Mischievous can survive another turn here. Which could be quite relevant. So we guarantee that. And that can give us at least some sort of dev devastating effect. Because if they take us out. Um, oh wait, no, this is going down anyway. I think they've got game here. Yeah, they have game. Definitely just get, yeah, that's it. <laughs> well played, mate. Just an absolutely devastating matchup there. Oh, that's awful. Maybe a Mew, but even a Mew wouldn't really be able to help with that, to be honest with you. So, eh, problematic, that one. So, you saw the highs and you saw the lows of that deck. Let's go and check out the list anyway. Right, talk about Risky. This one is a risky one to play on the ladder with incredible rewards, but also some really easy downfalls. Um, right, what do I say? This is exciting. It's a really fun deck to play regardless. A bit of a gamble, but... That just adds a bit of extra fun to the game. It's kind of something, you know, it gets a bit boring if you just win all the time. It gets a bit annoying if you just lose all the time. Why not have a gamble? Um, try it out for yourselves just for a bit of a laugh and uh, let me know what you get. But uh, majoritively, you will come up against these Tag Team GXs and majoritively, you will beat them. Um, just hope you don't come up against any sort of Weezing decks. <laughs> Such a shame. I haven't seen Weezing in ages. Ah, Lord. All right. I really do like this deck. I think it's fun. And uh, again, I just really, really do recommend it. Um, I know I've not been uploading so crazily recently, um, but I, I, sh I should be getting back onto things now. Kind of just a bit more motivated, which is fun. Um, Christmas time's coming around, feeling good. I hope you are feeling good as well. Um, and if you are feeling good and feeling generous, please do leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. And of course, do subscribe for more decks like this. Um, but of course, most importantly, do take care of yourself and I'll see you next time. Peace.